You're listening to an extract of The Leader Podcast. You can find us wherever you listen to your podcasts. It's just a lemonade promise, but today is the day lockdown starts to ease across the country and you can hang out in your garden, somebody else's garden, the park, pretty much wherever you like, so long as it's outside with up to six people and no more than two households. I don't have six friends, so it's just me and the cat. All over England, people have been getting out from midnight golfing in Derbyshire to open water swimming in Hackney. The sense of relief of being able to get out and about again is obvious. It's certainly, been, it's certainly been a long wait. I, I haven't struck a ball since, since December, so it could go anywhere. Many of us have just been very bored and probably slightly miserable at home. And being able to go for a swim first thing in the morning, is, it obviously sets you up for the day. But yeah, it's making me think about, oh, what else am I going to be able to do ahead in the next few weeks and months? And with immaculate timing, there's a heat wave coming just as schools get ready to break for Easter. But how far do our new freedoms go? The Evening Standard's political editor, Joe Murphy, has been on the phone to government sources, asking them to clear up some confusion. So, Joe, let's start with the important bit. Can we hop in the car and go to the beach? David, you can. There is a bit of a caveat, which is please don't unless you really, really want to. And, you know, don't swamp the places that are going to be popular. The government's changing everything today and along with the things that we knew all about, the rule of six and two households outdoors, there's more freedom which they haven't been quite as upfront about announcing. So for example, when it comes to going on day trips, that's now allowed. They've not been pushing that line because perhaps they're worried that people will all go to the beach on the same day and of course tomorrow and Wednesday are going to be quite warm in London, but nevertheless the freedom's there. And after a lot of toing and froing, we got confirmation on the record from government spokesmen of that um, this morning for the Evening Standard. So you can go to the beach, you could go to the New Forest, you could go to the Downs, hiking, all these things are within reach. Which is all great, Joe, particularly with that lovely weather that you mentioned there. But doesn't this get at least a little bit confusing, particularly actually if you're something like a police officer who has to decide if people are breaking the law? It is confusing, and I know from talking to friends and contacts, a lot of them are confused and nervous of doing the wrong thing. When it comes to our dealings with the police, there's an important difference um, from a few weeks ago during the height of lockdown and and that is that things are changing now from things being banned by law to a more common sense approach. The government wants you to take personal responsibility for your decisions and exercise maximum common sense and caution about what you do and how you enjoy the new freedoms that you're getting. So that means you should only travel when you have to or when It's the only possible way of doing something that you want to do. You should avoid long trips where possible and little practical things. Um, You should fill up your car with petrol and buy your lunch before you go off on a big day trip to see friends, families or do an activity so that you're not using shops and petrol stations in the place where you're going where you could pass infections from a higher place of infections to a lower one. And people are still being asked not to hug their friends or relatives when they do eventually get to meet up. So there is still a sense of caution about this, isn't there, Joe? And the Prime Minister appears to be worried about this third wave that's making its way through Europe right now. With good reason. You've got in France now, they're going through basically the wave that we went through that peaked here at Christmas and on January the 1st, um, which was the Kent variation. But France has also got a huge number of the South African variation of COVID-19. So there is a real danger that travel abroad, for example, um, will bring home one of those mutations that hasn't been prevalent in the UK. South Africa and Brazil are the ones of most concern to scientists because there is some evidence that they may weaken the vaccine response. So despite all the new freedoms, this, the, the big message is everything should take place outdoors as much as possible, not indoors. Don't have any socialising in indoor settings and keep your distance. Don't hug because this isn't over by a long way. 
which is the message being reinforced by the government's new advertising feature in the TV doctor Hillary Jones and a brand new slogan for this new era. Help keep the virus levels down and let's take this next step safely. Stay outside when you're with people, not in your household or bubble. Hands, face, space and fresh air. So if this goes wrong, if infection rates do rise, if people don't behave themselves, so to speak, Joe, is this going to put Boris Johnson's clearly much-wanted summer of sport in jeopardy? Well, the Prime Minister is hoping that he's going to fill sporting venues to capacity with crowds and put a smile on the nation's face. Everything is in jeopardy and everything is on course because at the moment, if things go as they are going, then we're on course to open up those sports venues for outdoor um, events. But on the other hand, if new variations come in, um, or if the infection numbers rise, the government won't hesitate to put the brakes on the lockdown exit. Well, let's say everything goes according to plan instead then, Jill. What happens next? What are we looking forward to on April the 12th? April 12th is the day that a lot of people are looking forward to principally for two reasons, pubs and haircuts. Outdoor drinking and dining is going to be allowed in pubs and restaurants, nothing indoors as yet. And for those of us who need a trim, we are going to be going to the hairdressers in great numbers. And uh, Britain will be a tidier place come that Monday.